Hello and thank you for watching. Let's play some more Total War Rome 2 in the Roman Ascension campaign. We are going to attack the little settlement of Nemosos here. Let's go ahead and start the battle. See where these jerks are. Okay. Can't even see where they are right now. So we're going to move in range. Quickly. Quick like. So notice my general is hanging out. That's kind of cool. He's hanging out behind the army. They're kind of the horses are trotting along, but they're staying in formation. So rather, th I just gave them all the the order to move forward, but this guy's hanging back. He's not being a dummy. <laughs> wow. That's interesting commentary. We are climbing the hill and are almost in position and hopefully we'll be able to see them soon. The city's on a hill, so I started my units down a hill and we can't as you can see from the map here, we just can't see into the town. Don't know where they are. It's hard to fight when we have no clue where anybody is. Still have no clue. I don't know where they are. Okay. Well, in this case, we're going to go ahead and break up this formation group. Oh, there they are. That's what I needed to see. Thank you. And firing. Ooh, beautiful. Taking your sweet time to fire again, aren't you guys? All right. Skirmishers are doing their job. Not really a successful round of hits that time. There's their general. Wow, not a good hit at all. Switch to flammable rounds. That's just not working. Early artillery are just not very effective. It's okay. Wow. Artillery useless. Bring the cavalry in. Artillery, stop what you're doing. Just stop. You're not helping anybody. going fairly well. Here come the cavalry. Excellent. God, artillery is just useless this game. 
I'm a little spoiled because I, I played a little bit of Total War Attila uh, the other day, um, replaying an old campaign where I'd already taken the entire map and got into a battle with some artillery briefly, and uh, it just it, it was a lot better than this. <laughs> so I'm spoiled. Go ahead and have our infantry move in. And take control of the city here. And continue the battle for a moment. Actually, go ahead and quit because they don't have an army to survive the battle. No sense doing the thing where I hunt everyone down. So that was a glorious victory for our faction leader. Only a five minute battle. Should have gone even quicker, frankly, if their artillery had been more powerful. Um, with additional research, I think the artillery will get stronger. Um, also, there was some terrain issues there, so a lot of um, a lot of rocks and buildings were were blocking it from being able to really be destructive. But constant exposure to dangers will breed contempt for them. That's true. All your Nemosos are belong to me. Let's give them indomitable legionaries. That'll give them uh, an, an armor boost there. And let's, what can we do here? Additional offensive power for that general. That's good. We can promote him. Excellent. That will definitely help with faction influence. We're going to be able to do a lot of promotions over the next couple of rounds. So Nemosos now belongs to the Roman Empire. Excellent. Now as I recall... Yes. It's going to take a couple of turns to get ready for that siege. We're going to take one more turn, then we'll take Bibracte. Off to Duran. Actually... No, 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 no. No, no. I'll leave him there, just because I want to have the ability to defend. So we have another army moving into place defensively. Okay. We have a food shortage as well. How is that happening? I'm a little confused as to how food shortage came about. Maybe because of the territory we just took. That's not good. What research am I working on? Legal institutions. Alright, so after I finish this research, which will give me additional income, I'm going to dive right in and give myself something that will allow me to have more food in a few years. Oh, it's frustrating. Your coffers are fit to burst. Surely Carthage wants you can a military spare some alliance. gold for Carthage. I'm not going to pay you, Carthage. Sorry. We That's are an on a non aggression pact. Well, Still not going to pay them. I will give them a non aggression pact on even terms, but no more. Alright, so the Averni didn't do anything. Because I, I think I really just caught them off guard. I think their armies are in the Spain area. My honorable master would have me talk. You see what's happening? These larger powers in the area are starting to recognize that Rome is doing well for itself. So they want various alliances, but they want money from me to do it. And that's just not the way to do it. Ah, I got a lot of money. Because we took control of a, short, of a certain... Uh, out of territory. A lot happening. All right. All right, let us research that. We do have a food shortage in Rome. 
Yeah, that's right. I can. Yeah, and the Mosos is contributing to it. It's Brandisium's problem, mainly. But, okay, food shortage fixed. I'll have an income disparity for a while, but that doesn't matter because I have a ton of money that I'm sitting on. Uh, Nemosos, I can go ahead and have some food building up there too, which is handy. Vertigala, Nemosos. So we're moving into Aquitania. We'll control Vertigana, Nemosos, and Limonum. This is ancient Bordeaux that we're attacking here. Do I want to have... Yeah, I think it would be handy to have a recruiting center in this area. So let's go ahead and prepare as though that's our objective. So the faction leader, I'm going to have him stay put in the Moses. This guy is moving to Tolosa, I think. Yeah, see what's happening here? The Arverni, the people we just went to war with, they actually are taking control of Iberia. So I want to go ahead and have... A faction rises, Anartes, over here. Interesting. There's a lot going on this turn. I'm going to do a quick sweep through my territory, make sure there's nothing that I can build. There is not. Promotion check. Nope. Alright, what next? Vertigala, I think I'm going to wait one more turn. Yes, I am. I'm going to continue that speech for one more turn. However, that is not the case for this town right here. We have some siege engines. We're going to use them. And we're going to use them right now. The Battle of the Bracte, 144 BC. wise captain does not let passengers aboard until the cargo is in the hold. <laughs> Julia the Elder. Very true. Alright, so we're going to do this in dry weather. Ah, pretty sophisticated walled settlement here. Similar to some of the stuff we've conquered in the past, I think. Um, it looks like, yes, those walls right there are going to be, be the best for me to assault. So I have two siege towers and some ladders. The siege towers will let me climb the walls. There's some gates there, so I'm going to position my artillery to knock down the gates. Make sure they're in range. Yes, there's the artillery ranges, so the artillery will in the name of Rome. knock down those gates. They had some trouble last time. I tried to do that, but I'm not going to have trouble again. So frustrating. And then, let's see, we have the siege towers lined up there, check that out. It would just be really easy for anyone to climb the wall. Actually, as a matter of fact, uh, okay, well, I'll go, I'll go ahead. I'll just have the siege towers flanked by ladders, that's what I'll do. And then we'll have the cavalry back here. Hiding in the woods. Kind of, yes, there we go. Along with the general. Okay. So they'll all be waiting to charge in for when the artillery finishes up. And then lastly, 
these guys here are going to march behind the siege towers and climb the siege towers when they're done. And then these guys are going to run up in the beginning and give anyone a hard time that tries to get in the siege towers way. And we're going to do this battle in the next episode because I've been recording for about 15 minutes and that's too long. <laughs> I look forward to your joining me. See you then.